You still recording? Yeah. Okay. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create modules in Canvas. I did do an in-depth video about modules that I'll link down in the description box below for you. I did that a few months ago, but because Canvas is changing constantly right now and updating everything, I want to show you a really easy way that you can actually input everything into a module or add to a module. So let me take you right in and let's get started. So here I am in the class. I would go down to the left side tab bar and I want you to click on modules on the left hand side. You might already be familiar with this, but let's say for example first that you want to add a new module or create a module. Click the plus module at the top right hand corner button. After you do that, you wanna give it a name. Let's say you're just now starting to create modules and you're gonna do unit one, or you wanna do week one, however you're going to organize your modules. You can also lock this module, meaning that the student can see that it's there, but they can't access it and get inside it and see all the pages until the unlock date. This is a great way if you're working ahead to kind of get the content in there, get it published, get it ready to go. And then when you're ready for that time of your course to, to unlock so the student can access it, it will automatically do it on your own, saving you some time. So you can put a lock date on here or you can have it unlocked. You can also add a prerequisite if you'd like. For example, you wanna make sure that they read this unit or go through this module before they continue on. So I'm going to not put any of that on right now, but I'm gonna click add module on the right hand corner when I'm ready. So here I did, I, I created unit one module. What I would suggest doing now is in this unit, go to the far right hand side where you see the plus sign on the gray bar for that module. Click the plus sign. Now, say you've already created some assignments, you have some pages, you've already created quizzes or discussions. After you do that, once you click that plus sign, you can go up here to the top and look what you want. Let's say I want this discussion that I've already created. And I created this discussion, share your names and pronouns as an introduction um, for the class. So I can click on that discussion. And then if I want to indent it one level, I can click that or two. And I click add item at the bottom right. Now there it is in this module. Then I can click the plus sign again and say I want to, I have an, an assignment I want to put in here. I've already created. Let's say I've already created it and I want to put this assignment in as well. I will click that assignment. Again, I could indent if I'd like to. Click add item. Now this is taking those different items you want and it's integrating it into that module. Make sure now that you have the publish sign ticked on. Okay, they would turn green. Once I tick them, that means it's published. But this is the key. Don't forget this part go to the top of this module and click the circle with the line through it, make sure it turns green. That means it's published, the entire module is published for the students and they can see everything in it. If you forget that one little thing, even if everything is published in that module, the students will not be able to see it. So that's one great example of how you can create a module here. Let's say this is a module I had from a class. Let's say I wanna to add to this module now. Again, I would go to the top right hand corner, I would click the plus sign, and I would select what I want. I can do anything I'd like in here. Maybe it's a page, maybe it's a file, maybe it's a quiz. Let's say I add a quiz here, okay. Um, let's do a discussion here. Maybe I wanna put that discussion in there. Click add item and it will drop it down into this at the very bottom. If I wanna adjust the indents, click the three dots or the hamburger that I like to call it on the far right hand side and you can increase the indention or you can decrease it, whatever you would like so that it looks organized and it flows from the students. That's an overview of how to cre actually create your modules and pull information and content from it. I hope this has been helpful for you. I will see you in the next video. All right, bye.